in my first Java file and I am copying it to the second Java file also where there is only one test case. I am pasting it right here and I am saving everything. Okay, I have saved everything right now. Now I am going back to my testng.xml document to make some changes. I'll say groups run. All these things are syntax, which means we need to remember it correctly. There is no other go. I mean, and they are very self-explanatory because we are just dealing with groups and we are having a configuration file uh, to specify our groups which we have. Now let me say something as regression tests. Let us format this code. Formatted, save, and then execute. Right click, run as test ng. All the three tests in two Java programs are having the same group name. Okay. What happened? says there was an error. What is the error? It says null pointer exception. Everything is correct here. So been closed. Uh, let me comment this and try to execute to see why there is a problem. I'm commenting the newly inserted code to see what exactly was the problem. Right click, run as, and then test ng. Okay. So this new code creates some problem. Let me stop execution and refer my old document. I'm going to refer my document. Okay, I think this is correct. Okay, include name is equal to regression tests. This should work correct. Okay, let me save it. Okay, so we will fix this. Before that, let me get into web driver. Okay, we will fix it when we see uh, we have this XML file when we execute web driver tests. Now let us see what a web driver is. Okay, uh, I'll summarize what we have seen now and say groups have been added in testng.xml. Okay, that is what we have added right now, and there is one more thing called parallel tests parameter has been added. Two more things from XML document needs to be closed now. Okay, let us get into web driver and deal with these things. Web driver, otherwise called as Selenium 2.0. Okay, so there is an already running Selenium server okay remote control why there is a need for web driver okay as 
the programs need to evolve, the web driver was created with much more interesting features. Okay, much more interesting features. To name a few, I'll say the web driver does not need the server, uh, I'll say standalone server to be started. Okay, this is a big breakthrough, which means you do not have the server started already. It will start the server itself. Okay, and then it interacts with the browser directly, or let me say natively. Okay, it does not need a JavaScript framework. It directly gets into the browser and interacts with the browser. Okay, and compared to RC, it is a very large or complex API. Okay, because you have multiple things in WebDriver rather than in Selenium Remote Control, which is 1.0. And another important thing is it is entirely object oriented. Selenium RC is less object oriented. Okay. It has iPhone and Android support also. In addition to all the browser it supports, it supports mostly all the browsers in market. Okay, in addition to that it has support to iPhone and Android also. Now these are the benefits of our web driver. Let us get into action now. How to create a script which is a web driver okay which uses the web driver api how to create a script it all happens with ide itself okay as the process we have followed for developing our remote control scripts the same process is followed here okay we can generate our web driver scripts from our selenium ide selenium ide can be opened from firefox okay now let me open ID and I'm opening a test case. I'm opening a test case. Which test case I need to automate? I'll say advanced research. Okay. So this test case I want to have a web driver version. After choosing this I'll say file, export test case. I need to choose Java JUnit4 or web driver. You may ask why not testng because testng is not being provided here. We will export the script for JUnit and then we can take whatever we need. Okay, we do not uh, require to copy all the JUnit components also. We will take whatever we need. So you need to choose Java JUnit4 web driver. It asks for a file name. I'll provide a file name called advanced search underscore wd.java. So I'm naming it as advanced search Java file and it is of web driver. Okay says already exists. Now I will say simply WD. The file has been created now. The file has been created now. Let me get into the directory. Here it is. Open it with notepad. Now this is what I get whenever I try to export a web driver script. Notice the changes here. Notice the changes here. There are more library files which has been added. Okay. 
and you take a note of this setup and tear down methods make a note of this setup and tear down methods these are all added automatically in selenium rc we ourselves needed to add all these things but web driver adds these things by itself okay now if you scroll down you have multiple methods created you have multiple methods created already all these things will be used by this program itself okay now let me take the components which I actually need I need anyway I created this test case uh, and I exported it to WebDriver to have it in my Eclipse so how do I do that I am going to create a new Java file I am going to create a new Java file now right click new class file I'll say advanced advanced search web driver or let me say only WD finish so a new Java file has been created here I need to transport my code I'll go back to the Java file I'll copy everything from here or let me say copy only the contents from inside the class and paste it here so obviously I'll get errors it is because I do not have import files here so with respect to the import files I'll copy all the import files and paste it here okay and for these JUnit JUnit framework import I do not require I do not require a JUnit import right now I need to have testNG in place so I'm going back to my old program and copying my testng annotations import and I'm pasting it right here okay the moment I paste my testng annotations here I'm getting error on at before and at after because these two methods are not present in testng and they are present like at before method and at after method now the program is error free now the program is error free okay I'll say control A and right click and then say source and then say correct indentation let me save this program okay let me have a small break I'll be back by 850 Okay, I'll be back by 8.50. Please hold on. I'll be back. <laughs> 